The recent attack by the defense forces on the Russian Panzer S-1 air defense system near Belgorod means the failure of the Russian buffer zones strategy, build analyst Julian Rock said. When the Russian armed forces went on the offensive in the Kharkov region in May, one of the goals was to create buffer zones so that the Ukrainian armed forces could not fire at Belgorod from the border territory. Russia began to advance in two directions, towards Lipsy and towards Volchansk. Both offensives floundered, and a corridor was formed between them, which is still controlled by Ukraine. It was from there that Himars hit the Panzers near Belgorod, the analyst said. As reported, on June 22, powerful explosions thundered near Belgorod. The defense forces hit Russian Panzer S-1 air defense systems with HIMARS missiles. They were covering the regional center from the south and were located 37 kilometers from the state border. Ropk recalled that the range of HIMARS reaches 85 kilometers, they could not be on the border itself, but 30 to 40 kilometers to the south. Panzer S-1 is a universal, expensive ground-based air defense system. The complex is designed to protect small objects from air attacks. In addition, it is capable of fighting lightly armored ground targets, as well as enemy personnel. One such air defense system costs about $14 million. As of June 12, 2024, the editors of the Oryx blog have found photo or video evidence of Russia's irretrievable loss of 17 Panzer S-1 systems, 15 destroyed and 2 captured. Ukraine adapts US M270 systems to use ATACMS. More missile strikes await Russia. Ukrainian M27 rocket launchers have been adapted for American long-range ATACMS missiles, said Ukrainian volunteer Ihor Lachenkov. He published a video showing four M270 rocket launchers firing eight ATACMS missiles, which were allegedly heading to hit Russian facilities in occupied Crimea. On the night of the 24th of June, a series of explosions occurred in the peninsula. The blasts targeted Russia's space communication center in the village of Vitino. According to Militani, American missile launchers have different capabilities depending on the provided munitions. The M270 launchers can fire two ATACMS missiles, unlike HIMARS, which can only launch one missile. The rocket launcher is also built on a tracked chassis, allowing better mobility over challenging terrain. The United Kingdom, Norway, Germany, Italy and France supplied these multiple launch rocket systems to the Ukrainian Defense Forces. The French variant of the US-made M270 designated Lance Roquettes Unitary already had the software and launcher platform modified to use ATACMS missiles without additional preparation. M270 jet launchers are capable of launching two ATACMS missiles, unlike HIMARS, which are equipped with only one missile. At the same time, the jet Jet installation was created on a tracked chassis, which allows you to move better over more difficult terrain. These MLRS were delivered to the Defense Forces of Ukraine from Great Britain, Norway, Germany, Italy and France. In addition, they are equipped with a modernized EFCS fire control system, a new navigation system using GPS and a new communication system. At the same time, the French version of the American M270, which received the designation LRU, immediately had software and modification of the launch platform that allows the use of ATACMS missiles without additional training. Earlier, Lockheed Martin announced it was modernizing additional M270 multiple launch rocket systems for the US Army.